Hello and welcome to another video by ES Repair. I am your host, Mr. Fixit. In my previous video, I showed you how to set up a personal cloud drive on your home network and showed you the walkthrough of all the features. Uh, what I'm going to do next is I'm going to show you how to begin using your drive and how you can upload and access your files on the drive. Now this is a manual way of doing this and I'm going to show you what to do. First thing you do is down here at the bottom uh, you'll see your file explorer and you'll also see uh, the first screen that you come to which is on your quick access You'll also come over here to the left and you want to open Network. Now this will show all of your devices that are connected to your network. These are your computers. As you can see here, I've got my laptop here, the Media Center, uh, my Office PC, and of course the cloud that I just set up. Down here you have uh, the media devices, uh, any devices you have that plays media that is having it shared. Uh, if you have a smart TV, it will also show up on here as a media as a media device, which allows you to stream videos and music to your TV. Uh, down here it will show your network infrastructure. This is your, your network setup. This is the hub, the main part. This here is the link. Uh, this will take you to the uh, home page uh, that we were on in the previous video. Uh, when you, If you need to make changes to your network or to your drive, then you can act, uh, open this and this will let you sign in so you can make any changes necessary to the drive. So what you'll do, uh, go up here, uh, go ahead and open your, your cloud drive that you just set up. Now as you can see here this opens up just like a folder would. Um, whether you're using an external drive or your internal drive, uh, everything opens up just like folders. Now you'll notice that these icons look different. Uh, you'll see this green pipeline that appears below these folders. This indicates that that folder is being shared. The public is for anybody's use. Uh, anything that any computer you want to have access to the files in this folder then you can use public. Smartware is the uh, software by Western Digital. I'm going to go into that later on. Uh, this is a backup software. Uh, Time Machine is Apple's version. Uh, Time Machine is the built-in backup software in Apple computers. And I will show you how to use these two uh, in another video. Uh, the WD Sync, uh, which is in this case, uh, this allows you to synchronize your files. Uh, it functions like OneDrive and Dropbox, which I'm sure many of you are familiar with. Uh, this works the same way, and I will show you how, how to set that up too. And that's going to be in a, another video. Now over here, uh, we're going to go ahead and open public. Now as you can see here it shows you anything that's being shared. Uh, music, pictures, videos. Uh, up here as you can see I've already had um, some files transferred. Now what you can do here is uh, manually transfer your files. Um, for instance, I'm going to go over here and go to my downloads and I'm going to choose that and these are all the files that I have downloaded so let's say that I have uh, some files that I want to transfer so all I have to do is select videos that I need to transfer 
which I'm just doing randomly, right click on the file or files, choose copy, I can go back, uh, if you want to you can also go backspace because that brings you back to the previous page you were on or you can go ahead and click on your uh, cloud down here. If you look to the left you will always see the network and the devices that are connected for quick access. So I'm going to go ahead and click back. Now I'm back to where I was at previously. I can right click the background and then choose paste. And what this will do is transfer the files, or in this case, copying the files to my cloud. Now, depending on how fast uh, the network is, will depend on how fast it will transfer the data. Now, as you can see, uh, this is what happens, and it's just like your folders. Uh, any computer uh, that is used uh, on your network can do the exact same thing. You can create your folders, you can transfer, you can access. Uh, even if you uh, need to uh, access a, a file, you just open it. And there you go. You have your file opened. Uh, this all pretty much works the same way as uh, your external hard drive that you may have connected or a flash drive that you have connected. Uh, if you do it manually, this is how uh, to do that. Now, if you're on a Mac computer, uh, I'm going to show you how you can still access your cloud that we set up previously in the... In the uh, in the other video and it's similar to what you do in Windows that I just showed uh, what you'll do is come down here to finder in the lower left corner on the dock and when you open the folder uh, you'll see uh, all my files which is all your document pictures everything that you have uh, if you look down here under shared you will see your network drives and you can see all the computers that are connected to the network. Uh, as you can see here, this is the cloud. This is the one that we previously set up. Uh, if you have Finder up here, uh, you can also go to Go. And then you can go down to Network. And you'll be able to see the uh, uh, your devices. And then you can open it up. So there's two different ways in fight that you can go to Finder and access the cloud drive. Now once you're on the drive, uh, you do just like you normally do with any other folder. Uh, you can open your public. Uh, smartware, you don't have to worry about. That is for Windows based computers. Uh, that's the backup for them. Uh, Time Machine is for your uh, Apple computers and um, Apple products to where you can back up your devices. Uh, you'll see the, the history clock, uh, time clock up here in the upper right. Uh, that's your time machine, which as you can see is not currently set up. But I will do a video uh, next to show you how to create and set up your backup. Now to manually uh, transfer files, um, you basically do the same thing as you normally do. Uh, you just open the folder, uh, go to the folder that you want, and then you can choose uh, what you want uh, to open. It's just like as if you're on your own on your own computer. Uh, here I could come here, and then I can open any folders, files, whatever the case may be. 
uh, downloads, you know, same thing. I can access all the files that's on that drive just as if it was on this computer. So I can go ahead, I can select this one, and then I can copy it. Then I can go to my downloads or uh, documents, pictures, wherever I want to go. And then choose paste, and there it is. Now, I can do the same thing in reverse. <clears throat> I can go to my all files, and I can just find any program or download any pictures, documents, anything that I want to put to the cloud, I can. And you just have to uh, select it. I'm going to copy. Now I can go back to my cloud, go to the folder, and if I want to, paste item, and there it is. Now it's on the cloud for all the other computers to see. <coughs> and this is basically all you have to do. Uh, you can manually transfer your files, back up your stuff. Um, I will show you in the next video how to set up Time Machine with the cloud. Uh, it's fairly simple to do. And this takes care of this video. Now you understand how you can manually transfer your files and stuff back and forth from the cloud to uh, your computer. Well, I'm your host, Mr. Fixit. Thank you for watching.